a little after nine o'clock Eastern Standard Time. I'm uh, working on this robot and uh, trying to get it. Uh, it's just a it's a vision. Yeah, I am the robot. I guess I have to look at the screen and make decisions. It's terrible. But on the 15 minutes, um, the criteria for entry here would be if you get anything that's under a 10 pip, uh, say tw 20 pips per hour, right? This is 10 pips each uh, horizontal bar. So here's a 20 pip uh, small entry. It's a volatility breakout system. Uh, certainly, you know, if you're going to trade it from the trend standpoint, anytime you get like a triangle like this, This little baby triangle in here, and um, this guy's gonna start placing. Uh, he could just sell. He could just get on stops, I guess. Nothing fancy, but uh, I guess when this is happening here, this is a one-hour chart. Yeah, you just, you know, if your orders disappear every hour, then if you front run the market with buy limits, say, um, we took a, we take one, take this part out come down and um, take that out you know a lot of people uh, stop out trade stop and entry guys got in there and of course the limit entry guys got in on the, fr the false breakout of this guy here so and they just go tumbling down so now we're, re we're now we're kind of trying to retrace here this morning so I bought into this black bar because it's small small black bar that's about 30 pips but I actually got in on the uh, smaller time frame here, so I was getting in on the, uh, I'd say the 15 seems to be the lowest risk. Of course, you know, then you want to slice this thing because you'd be uh, getting up all, the, all in the middle of the night here trying to keep re-entering the DM market, so that kind of get on your nerves, you know. Half hour seems to be a nice lifestyle. Like, here's a, here's a premium entry in the half hour. Here's a couple, uh, this is like 90 minutes, so you'd have sell stop stacking up on that white. And you had a buy stop stacking up on the black, but you really feel harder on the way down if you're a breakout trader. So, but if you're like me, which I'm a limit entry trader, I'm also doing this. So this is going to be a 30-minute order, and this is going to be a 15. These are kind of my uh, iceberg orders or my black swan orders to get in on a retest of. There's a triangle in here. I guess if you go to the one minute, you can see it. Um, yeah, this is like just binary trading. I mean, this is nothing. Here's a here's this triangle. I think we might revisit. It typically does revisit these, or it breaks that out and it just plunges, goes to plungeville. So now that we've pulled back, <clears throat> I got these two fractals here. These two little one minute fractals. I can put a buy stop in now. And that's just a scalp to here. If it keeps plunging, it's going to start the other side of my strategy to get in on this. I guess yeah, some people call it a uh, Martin Gale. What are we going to call it? the end of the world trading right a retest to the euro all the way down to you know it doesn't look here it looks like wow that's never going to get there uh, on, the, on the half hour you're like yeah we can get there easy you know i mean it's, that's the whole problem with time frame shift and if you go to the daily you're like huh <laughs> you're here it's black and that's supposed to be long but yeah it only lasts for 15 minutes right so um but yeah, I could hire a robot. I could I get a mouse bot to just click on orders here and just do ghost trading at night. But um, this would be a premium entry here. I just kind of visually do it though. So I I've got in here, cashed out, went short here because uh, I guess we kind of got a little too white. And um, so I take this down to I guess kind of a civilized time frame, 15 minutes. And uh, yeah, so that's my. That's my day trade plan today. Um, that was exciting run up in the here, but of course, you know, as as the way would have it with these market makers, they trapped all the breakout guys here, and now they're just thinking, "Gee, should I have waited?" So that's always a punishment that the breakout trader has to endure. See, now to me, it's like, okay, let me put a stop in there now. I think we could take out the top, and then. Um, I'm just going to walk away from that one. I can't touch that. I don't want any more. I'll blow that count up. And, uh, you know. So, we don't want to get too too outlandish on that. Now, 
let's take a look at the other time frame. This is the four hour. So yeah, the four hour technically, if you have a, if you have a filter that says uh, if the four hours white, buy only blacks on the 15. Now that would be a that would just be about most binaries you could get. Of course, I don't know how to code that into an EA and tell it to do something that complicated, I guess. So I'll just leave it to my... Um, plus, it's kind of fun to watch this thing just go to hell. I, gu I guess you kind of want to watch some of this stuff, you know. I mean, you build a robot, walk away, and the thing's just churning and, and making money. I guess it's a different lifestyle, but... You know, you'd be kind of like worried if the thing ended up uh, just chowing your account. I guess you still got to babysit even the robot, so... You know, in this, in this case, if you see that the market's going to do something outlandish like this, you can kind of see this stuff coming, like, um, when the floor came out here, when we the, when the bottom dropped out on that 15, wow, right? And this would be the healing zone for it to come back to here and re-tag the, the, the dropout is kind of a a classic target. Of course, you know, it's a 15-minute chart. There's a million trades in there, and that's damn uh, near um, a 200 pip range. This thing's just squirreling around in now on the... Uh, if you just look at this perspective of this thing, see so these are 10 pip handles on here. It's ridiculous. Wait for the next tick there. Who can wait? Look at this thing. Still black. Black on black. I want my baby back. 